The Caribbean Traveling Film School was created to teach people who otherwise wouldn't have been able to learn how to make movies. When we spoke a lot you know, to the powers that be about what you need to teach, if you want to start an industry, you can't start an industry on the back of nothing because people are not educated in filmmaking and the few who may have gone away, they're not coming here to work in film because there is no industry. So to start, you need teaching and of course, you know, falling on deaf ears, I decided to do it myself. I went to the EU um, through the ACP, uh, uh, who, fund, who funded us for the first few years from the European Development Fund. And the school has also hosted workshops in Jamaica, Barbados and Guyana. It was always a question of the EU development fund, ACP Films, ACP Culture and so on. They were giving us 80% of our financing needs and we had to get the rest locally. And that even was a problem. In the beginning, the school was facilitated by the European Union and ACP Culture's funding. They aren't going down that route again because chasing funding has stripped the creative process from the venture. Still, they're reluctant to charge participants because the school was created to make filmmaking accessible. It's not that we don't mind getting money, but the whole thing about the school was for people who couldn't afford it. So, I mean, we could make it a pittance, and we do that. We do tell people, you know, try, you, knew, you need to put something in. And that was forced on us by the film company here because in Barbados nobody paid. And here, those who could, even if it was $200 or $500, just for them to feel that they contributed something. The Caribbean Traveling Film School was meant to address a problem the school founders had with the local film industry. What I don't like about the film industry in Trinidad is that, as I say, it's still tending to be cliquish and a little bit elitist and a little bit, if I could afford it type of thing. It's not, and um, it, it doesn't, hasn't gotten the support that I think it it needs or that it should because there has been a lot of talk over the years. We've been talking about a film industry for more than a decade now. Certainly much more than that because I've been pushing it for much more than a decade and you know I know and it hasn't gone much further than when we started. There are media and communication courses of all types in Trinidad and Tobago from short courses to degree length programs and students have been producing short films and feature length movies as part of their program requirements. Some of them have continued to make movies post-graduation. Soini Gray, C News.